start the intro again. Good morning. Welcome aboard Some Cat Swing. It is Saturday, April 20th, 2024. We've just launched at the uh, public ramp next to the Napa Valley Yacht Club. And we're going to be rowing today with the uh, Traditional Small Craft Association, local chapter, on the Napa River. And uh, just off the uh, starboard quarter over there is a beautiful Gordy Nash Whitehall, just like the one I used to have back in the 90s. Keeps me from running into stuff. Yeah, it, it, it helpful. Just barely. You might take her out. What's on the right side of your hat? What does that say? Oh, uh, that's a microphone. It is a microphone. Okay. And that's a 360 camera. Oh, okay. And uh, you're going to be on YouTube. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I have a small YouTube channel. <laughs> yep. Voice controlled camera. Yeah. Really? And it's a 360 camera. It's taking a, a, a picture of the whole sphere. And then when I edit, I can have it follow seagulls and follow seals that are diving under the boat. Look around. What's your destination today? Uh, as far as I can get up water. Okay. Oh. High tides at uh, 1224. Yeah. I'm going to try and make it all the way to Tranca Street. Well, you can. If I can do that, uh, by the time I get back here today, I'll have 2,000 miles under the keel since I launched this six years ago. Oh, beautiful. 2,000 yeah. miles. Did you make this? I did. Wow. So this is a, that's the 360 camera? Right that's the 360 yeah. camera. Wow. It's got two lenses on it and they stitch together. Yeah, this, the selfie stick there is invisible. Looks like the camera's just, it looks like there's a drone following me along. Oh, that's so cool. Huh. Uh, name of the boat is Some Cat Swing. If you go on YouTube and just uh, search for Some Cat Swing, you can go right to the website. Oh, yeah. What's that? I have a cat who likes to sleep in the boat, but she doesn't really want to do any more than that. I did have a Siamese oh 30 years ago that would go in my sailboat with me. Oh, did she get a little No, no, no. She uh, she never she was a very calm, quiet cat, and and uh, I invited her to go one day, and she walked down the dock and looked at the boat, and she says, "Well, I sleep in there all the time," so she just jumped in, and off we went. Cool. And every time I'd tack, why she'd see me sitting on the other side of the boat, and she'd look at me like, "What the hell are you doing?" And she'd get up and she'd come over and sit next to me until we tacked again, and then she'd look at me again, and then she'd cross the boat. I tipped it up one time, just way, way up, and then she looked over the side and watched the water going by, and sat down and went back to sleep. <laughs> she was pretty cool. All right, let me see if I can get out of here without. All these people are joining you on this trip? Without hitting any. Yes, this is the traditional small craft association. That is a large craft, a medium sized craft. Uh, it's a large craft to get to Trancus. They, like oh no, they can get to Trancus. Yeah? Are they yeah. all handmade boats? Uh, almost all of them, yeah. Well, they are all handmade. Some, some of them are made by their owners, and some of them are made by a, a guy in uh, uh, Geyserville. Oh, wow. Yeah. Who's a small time boat builder. Okay, everyone. I had a really enjoyable time with you today. Thank you. Thank you.
Some very nice people on the dock there at the Napa Valley Yacht Club. Um, they're all there to uh, get out and row in outriggers, outrigger canoes. <clears throat> And here comes the Whitehall. Is that a 14? Uh, 13 and a half. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Almost 14. Mine, my, I guess mine was uh, 13 and a half too then. They sure are lovely boats to row. when we launched is about uh, four and a half feet and um, high tide is at uh, 1224 and I think the tide at the gauge wherever that is would, is going to be um, uh, just a little over four and a half inches or excuse me uh, five feet six inches putting the keepers on the oars here so I don't lose one over the side it's always embarrassing when that happens all right <clears throat> uh, now that I'm out here, I remember that my plan was to uh, head uh, down river. Oh, it's barely a half mile to the Emola Street Bridge here in Napa. So I'm going to turn around and uh, head on down. It's going to take the rest of the uh, Small Craft Association a while to get all uh, launched. winds this morning are supposed to be calm, uh, becoming uh, southwesterly at uh, about seven or eight miles an hour, I believe it is in the afternoon. Uh, I checked on Windy, and Windy pretty much agreed. I did uh, look at the uh, gusts on Windy. And then was sorry I had, because they said in the afternoon they were going to have gusts up around, uh, I think it was 21 miles an hour. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Hopefully the uh, gate there on the uh, ramp at the Napa Valley Yacht Club will still be open this afternoon when we come back so we can use that or I can use that dock to uh, tie up to while I go and get my car but if I can't uh, I've dealt with it before that's why I'm wearing waders I bought the waders because of this ramp start the timer. What was it about uh, 25 after more or less?
been a while since I've been on the Napa River. In fact, it might have been uh, with this group. <clears throat> I was uh, watching that uh, Whitehall uh, launch. I noticed that the guy had a bamboo pole in there, and now I see him over in the shallows using that pole. So he's planning on uh, navigating up some narrow channels. Big floating log. Glad I saw that. <clears throat> the uh, TSCA has had a uh, row uh, scheduled for this day for know, like six months or so, and it was on Clear Lake uh, at uh, uh, at the town of Clear Lake and Rosebud Rosebud, I think it is Rosebud uh, Park. And we have a nice launch ramp there, and then we were going to row uh, and explore the uh, the marsh that's right there at the uh, most southerly end of the lake, southeasterly end of the lake. And then uh, I had plans on uh, trying to get uh, through the weeds and onto Cache Creek and uh, rowing uh, downstream on Cache Creek, which is the outlet to Clear Lake. And uh, possibly being able to get down as far as the dam. But uh, uh, the host uh, for that race had been doing some research, and he said that uh, there's an algal bloom on uh, Clear Lake, and uh, they said you're not supposed to touch the water. It's nasty stuff. So. Uh, all but two of us uh, decided to cancel on that, and uh, in the meantime, uh, this Napa River row uh, had been uh, two weeks ago. That's when their schedule was, and uh, they canceled because I think it was going to rain. They changed the date to today, so then we had overlapping days. And uh, uh, last evening, I got a call from uh, the uh, fellow who, uh, along with me, were the only two who were going to go ahead and row in the polluted water. He called me and said he had just changed his mind and was going to come to Napa. So. I said, okay, I'll do that. He said he was bringing two boats. His wife had a little uh, flat iron skiff she was going to row, and uh, he was going to bring a canoe. When they drove in, I just saw one car with a canoe, and I asked him, uh, if he 
decided not to bring the other boat. He said, oh no, it's in the back of the station wagon there. So it's a pretty small flat iron skiff. All right, coming up on the Amola Street Bridge. And we will, uh, since they have a pylon right out here, up here, right out in the, in the river, we'll go around that and then head back north upstream and uh, continue on with the rest of our day. Only real reason that I'm uh, doing this uh, little loop extension on the south end of our row was to add mileage. Oh, here comes a rowboat. <clears throat> Side of the river and jaw with the guy. <clears throat> Were you camping overnight? Are you with the TSCA? Yeah, so am I. Where did you launch? Down to the JC? I think you can't hear me. There's another rowboat coming. I wonder if they launched down at the JC. <clears throat> you can only get in there at high tide. They've launched there two times and didn't realize what a mud hole it is at low tide. And was very lucky that I was able to get to and from the uh, the ramp. two separate bridges. Where did you guys launch? Where did you launch? Oh, right there by the uh, golf course? out of the northwest and we've got a head head on headwind. It feels like it's blowing about mm, three, maybe four miles an hour.
it's when I row with the PSCA that I, the uh, fact that I have a flat bottom boat becomes most noticeable. Because uh, I can't keep up with them to save my soul, especially that Whitehall. Those are slippery boats, and they go very, very fast in the low wetted area. <clears throat> I'm hitting mud. In fact, I can see rocks. So, I don't want to be cutting this corner. coming out of the north now. Well, at least we have the, have the tide behind us. And if the sun's coming out, that's nice. It's looking like it's going to be a pretty gray day. When I uh, only just barely recently found out that uh, with that ramp down uh, by the golf course and down by the JC was uh, just uh, just a mud mud puddle when the tide was out, I thought about all the times that I. I'd use that ramp, or the two times that I'd use that ramp. And, no, I guess there were three, and one of them was uh, on the TCA, TSCA road when I started down there. It's uh, about two and a half miles from where we are downriver to that ramp. And uh, on the return row, uh, I had gone up the uh, Napa River underneath the Trancas Bridge, Trancas Street Bridge, and it began to get pretty thin, a lot of big boulders, so I turned around there and came back. By the time I got back to the city dock, which is right downtown, uh, it was white capping out of the south, and I had uh, at that point about a three and a half, well, maybe almost four mile uh, row. Um, uh, with the tide with, uh, going one direction and the wind coming in another direction. I'd had headwind with a heavy chop all the way back. And uh, I tied up to the city dock and was contemplating the long, miserable row. Also, it was getting late in the afternoon. The sun was getting low. And uh, there was a motorboat tied up the dock. And while I was sitting there, a guy came down and got in it. And I asked him uh, which direction he was going. So he was headed down to the Napa Valley Marina, which is down below Cuttings Wharf. And uh, I asked him if he'd give me a tow. And uh, by the time we got back 
to the ramp. The tide was down low enough. Uh, he said I, he didn't want to take his boat in there for fear he'd run aground. I didn't realize it was that shallow. But uh, I was sure pleased to get a tow. It would have been uh, barely a mile an hour row that whole way, and it would probably been dark by the time I got back down there. And I don't believe there are any lights in the parking lot there, at least not down by the launch ramp. It's been uh, pretty close to time to recycle the uh, camera here. So I want to thank you all for coming along. And if you're new to the channel, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for uh, notifications of updates to the channel. And I uh, appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, any comments or questions, scroll down get back to you. Again, thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll catch you all later.